Hi everyone and welcome on this new Popcorn FX video tutorials. This video will show you the parent field feature. The parents field feature allows us to deliver value from parents to its child particle system. This effect was made by triggering event recursively. But to avoid an infinite spawning number of branch, this branch limit field was made for this purpose. This field allows us to determine the maximum propagation of a root branch. It will recursively decrease at each child's spawnet. In the event trigger layer, we create another branch limit field. This field will get the root's branch limit value. For this, we just have to type parents dot and the parents field name to retrieve its value. But as you can see, it doesn't work. It's because we have to set which field the child is expecting to read. For this, we have the virtual parent field. It allows us to find the desired parent's field and recover its value. So we are going to create a new field with the same property and the same name. And in this example, it's the branch limit field. Now the virtual parent's field is set, we can use it in the spawner script. And minus one, it's for decreasing recursively this value each time it trigger an event and spawn a child. Now in the Evolver script, we will check if the branch limit value is below zero. If it's true, we'll simply kill it. In this situation, we set a random color. And we want to propagate this color from the root to their branches. And for this, we will use the parent field feature. First of all, create a new virtual parent field named color. With this field, we can retrieve the root color's value. And we add some color variation. But as you can see, the branches are still white. It's because the branch is a spawner evolver driven by a parent particle. We just need to make the spawner evolver retrieve its parent color's value. In a spawner evolver's case, the virtual parent are automatically filled because they can only have one parent potential. We just have to type parent.color in the colors field. We will apply the same process for those fireworks particles. The parent field feature has some constraint. You cannot specify parent field of our layer groups. And externally triggered particles cannot have access to its parent's value. This will conclude our parent's field tutorials. Thanks for watching.